customer support experience shouldn't be robotic. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few tricks you can use to make your chatbox workflows less robotic. Let's get down to it. First, we're going to create a new scenario. So new scenario, new blank scenario, and we can edit our scenario name. So my first chatbot. So the first step is going to be to click on the entry gate and then plus event and user message matches. I'm going to delete this block because there is another way to add blocks, which is drag and drop. So I click on plus event and I drag user message matches. User message matches is basically a hint so the chatbot can know when it should be triggered or not. For instance, if I use star hello star, it would match any message that contains the word hello. If I use star demo star, it will match any message that matches demo. But here we're going to just use star. So that means that any message will trigger our chatbot. So next step going to be to send a message. So we're going back and then we're going to go to action and we drag the text message. Boom. So we can edit uh, this message and we can test the scenario. So before we need to save the scenario and we can test it. Now to make the bot a bit more human friendly, we can use the typing indicator. So we need just to drag it in the middle like this. So we're going to save again and test. And now, as you can see, there is a typing indicator. Ask the username. So for this, we're going to use a field, which is right there. So we drag it. So this step is already pre-configured to ask the username, as you can see. The only thing we're going to do is to require uh, the user to complete this step before going to the next step. So we click on add input action. So it's going to automatically change the next step and we memorize the value and we use name. Next step going to be to update the username. For this, I use plus action, update user, update username. We could use drag and drop instead, of course. We're going to use the name that was stored in the bot memory just before and we can send a new text message. We're going to update the text message to say, thank you, name. And now we can test the chatbot. So we're going to save it and start again. Oh, it's going to ask for our username. So we fill uh, the username. Now, oh, as you can see, it says thank you by reusing our username that was provided just before. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any tips and tricks about CRISP.